Have you ever been with a narcissist and thought why it was so hard for them to forget about you and find someone else? This video will go into great detail about the interesting and complicated world of narcissistic behavior in order to find out what makes this happen on a psychological level. We will talk about the narcissist's constant need for approval and admiration, their low self-esteem, and the way they stay mentally attached to old relationships by idealizing and devaluing them over and over again. They can't move on because they are afraid of being left alone and want to be in charge, you will learn. By understanding these factors, you'll learn a lot about how narcissists think, which will help you spot the signs and keep yourself safe from their manipulative behavior. This video will teach you the information and techniques you need to get away from a narcissist and begin your healing and self-empowerment journey, whether you're currently dealing with one or are getting over a relationship from the past. Keep watching if you want to learn the truth about why narcissists can't let go and how you can move on with confidence. Don't forget to like, share, and follow for more helpful videos. A quick look at the narcissistic personality. To understand why narcissists find it hard to forget and replace people, you must first understand what Narcissistic Personality Disorder, NPD, is. Narcissists have a number of important traits, such as 1. Grandeur is an over-the-top belief in one's own importance and worthiness compared to others. 2. Need for admiration, a strong desire for praise and approval all the time. 3. Lack of empathy means not being able to or not wanting to understand or care about other people's feelings and wants. 4. Manipulative behavior, using other people to get what you want without caring about their well-being. 5. Fragile self-esteem, narcissists often have weak self-esteem that needs constant support, even though they seem confident. These traits make narcissists' minds work in a certain way which affects how they deal with others and makes it hard for them to end important relationships. The Narcissistic Need Understanding why narcissists can't forget about you and find someone else is based on the idea of narcissistic supply. This word refers to the praise, respect, and approval that narcissists need to keep their sense of self-worth and superiority. People who provide this fuel are very important to the narcissist's mental health. The person who does this job well becomes an important part of the narcissist's life. When it comes to relationships, narcissists only care about what they can get out of them. They see the people in their lives as resources rather than as people with their own wants and needs. Because they see others as objects, narcissists find it hard to forget someone who has given them a lot of approval and support. How to idealize and devalue. The loop of valuing and ignoring each other is a sign of a narcissistic relationship. Narcissists often treat people like angels when they meet them for the first time, giving them lots of care, compliments, and love. Love bombing is the term for this stage, which is meant to win the person's love and loyalty. The narcissist may seem perfect at this point, making the person feel special and important. However, this idealization can't last. Over time, the narcissist's need for supply grows, and they start to see flaws and mistakes in the person they used to look up to. This sets off the devaluation phase, during which the narcissist is critical, rude, and emotionally detached. In the narcissist's eyes, the person loses value, but they still need to be supplied. This pattern of valuing and devaluing each other builds a strong emotional bond that can be hard to break. The narcissist may find it hard to forget the other person even after the relationship ends because of the strong feelings and experiences they shared during the idealization phase. Fear of being left alone Many narcissists have deep-seated fears of being left alone and rejected, even though they act very cocky. People often have these fears because they were ignored, criticized, or didn't get regular care as a child. Narcissists use defense strategies like controlling and manipulating others to keep these painful feelings from getting to them. When a narcissist's important relationship stops, their fear of being left alone can come back, making them feel unsafe and exposed. 
They might find it hard to forget about the person because the breakup could hurt their feelings of self-worth and security. The narcissist may keep thinking about and even try to get back in touch with the person they lost in order to feel in charge again and avoid these bad emotions. Control and the Dynamics of Power Narcissists want to be in charge of everything around them, even the people they are close to. It can be hard for people to let go of someone who has been important in their lives because it means giving up power. Nasty people may feel helpless and defeated when they can't keep someone who has moved on under their control. For narcissists, this loss of control can be especially upsetting because it makes their carefully built sense of self-worth seem vulnerable. They might think and worry a lot about the relationship, trying to figure out how to get back in charge. They might find it hard to forget about that person and move on because of this obsession. This is what echoism does. People who are in relationships with narcissists often have someone else in the relationship who is an echoist. People who are drawn to narcissists are called echoists. These people tend to be humble and put other people's needs and wants ahead of their own. They often don't have a strong sense of who they are and get their sense of worth for making other people happy and helping them. Echoists can become very involved in the lives of narcissists, giving them the approval and support they need. It may be very hard for the narcissist to forget the echoist when the narcissist finally leaves or pulls away from them. When the echoist leaves, it's not only a loss of supply, but it also changes how the ego sees themselves. Dissonance in the mind. Cognitive dissonance is the mental discomfort that comes from having two ideas or attitudes that are at odds with each other. Cognitive conflict can happen in narcissistic relationships when the narcissist's idealized view of themselves and their relationships doesn't match up with what they actually do and how the relationship ends. For example, a narcissist might think they are the best partner and deserve nothing but love and devotion. This self-image is thrown into question when a relationship stops, which leads to cognitive dissonance. To get rid of this feeling of unease, the narcissist may keep thinking about the relationship, trying to explain their actions and make sense of the difference between how they see themselves and how the relationship ended. Narcissistic Pain and Fury When a narcissist's sense of self-worth is threatened, they feel terrible mental pain and shame. This is called narcissistic injury. This harm can happen when someone feels slighted, criticized, or rejected. When someone important to a narcissist breaks up with or rejects them, it can cause them a lot of pain. Whenever a narcissist is hurt, they might feel narcissistic rage, which is a strong and often unfair anger aimed at the person who hurt them. This anger can show up as obsessive thoughts, violent fantasies, and efforts to hurt or punish the person. Because these feelings are so strong, it's hard for the narcissist to forget about the person and move on. The Fallacy of Being Unique Narcissists often think that their relationships are one-of-a-kind and special, which makes them feel even better about how great they are. They might tell themselves that the person they are interested in can't give them the same amount of love and approval. They might think the person is irreplaceable, which can make it hard for them to find someone else to replace them. The narcissist's tendency to put others down makes this view even stronger. They might think that possible new partners are less good than them, which makes it hard to form new relationships. When you put these things together, they make it hard to move on and forget about the old relationship. What memories and feelings of the past do? Narcissists often remember only the good things about the past, romanticizing relationships and events and downplaying or ignoring the bad ones. This selective remembering helps them feel good about themselves and keeps them from feeling the pain of failure and rejection. One important thing that can help with this is nostalgia. Narcissists may romanticize old relationships by remembering only the times they felt loved and appreciated. Because they are emotionally tied to the idealized images of the past, this can make it hard for them to forget about the person and move on. Ways to deal with stress and get over it. Narcissists can make it hard for people who have been with them to let go of their feelings and move on. Figuring out the psychological factors at play 
can give you strength and help you start healing. Here are some ways to deal with stress. 1. Set limits. Make your limits clear and stick to them to keep others from manipulating and controlling you. 2. Get help. Surround yourself with friends, family, or a therapist who can listen and help you deal with your feelings. 3. Take care of yourself. Put your health first and do things that make you feel good about yourself and help you grow as a person. 4. Practice mindfulness. Learn skills for mindfulness to deal with unwanted thoughts and emotional triggers. 5. Get educated. To better understand what you're going through, learn about narcissistic personality disorder and the behaviors that go along with it. What it means. Narcissists have a hard time forgetting and replacing important people in their lives. This is because of a lot of different psychological factors, such as their need for narcissistic supply, fear of being abandoned, need for control, and cognitive dissonance. The people who have been with narcissists can learn a lot from understanding these patterns, which can help them get better and heal. People can free themselves from the mental grip of narcissists and move on with their lives if they can recognize the patterns of their behavior and use healthy ways to cope. Thank you for seeing. The first thing you need to do to take back your power and move on is to understand why narcissists can't forget about you and replace you. You can get away from their emotional grip if you understand their need for constant praise, their deepest fears, and the cycles of manipulation they use. Remember that setting limits, getting help, and focusing on self-care are all important ways to heal. Don't let the fact that the narcissist can't move on stop you. Get as much information as you can, hang out with positive people, and enjoy the trip you're on to recovery and self-growth. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who might find it useful. Also, please subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to handle difficult situations. We care about your health and happiness, and we can build a community where everyone can grow if we all work together. Take charge of your life. Stay strong and learn as much as you can. Take care until next time and keep going.